My name is Lee, and I'm an engineer on the IBM JSTAR team. I'd like to share with you a project we've been developing called the NLP Dictionary Server. An NLP dictionary is a set of like terms and phrases that can be used to annotate domain-specific concepts from a corpus of text. NLP dictionaries are a crucial building block in text analytics, but in our experience, these lists are typically kept in poorly managed text files that often reside in multiple places with varying states. This makes versioning and collaboration a chore for developers and barely possible for line-of-business users. The NLP Dictionary Server aims to aggregate these dictionaries into a single place and provides a simple web interface for browsing and editing. The server goes one step further and provides a runtime dictionary matching service that can be used in production so that your text analytics pipelines will always be using the latest and greatest version of a dictionary. The server consists of three main views. The initial loading page contains a list of all the dictionaries on the server. Clicking on a dictionary name takes you to the Edit Dictionary page, where you're able to add and remove entries from the dictionary, as well as perform additional processing functions that will be discussed later. Finally, on the Test Dictionaries page, you're able to interactively type in text and see the dictionary matches as they appear. Under the covers, the test page is accessing a dictionary matching web service that can also be called from a text analytics process. For developing such analytics, the JSTAR team often uses an IBM product called IBM Content Analytics Studio. In ICA Studio, a user is able to work interactively with their documents to develop dictionaries and parsing rules that make up a text analytics pipeline. In this case, we have a fake project created for annotating recipes, and it includes a single lexical dictionary. Let's see how we can use the NLP Dictionary Server to externalize the fruit dictionary from this pipeline, so that even after deploying the pipeline to Content Analytics Server, we can collaboratively improve on that dictionary without needing to repackage or redeploy with each dictionary update. To create a fruit dictionary on the server, we click on the New Dictionary button, give the dictionary name, and optionally include a description. This brings us to the Edit Dictionary page, where we can add new entries from either the Add Entries button or the Table Context menu. Selecting one or more row it is possible to automatically generate or remove additional terms by clicking on one of the processing buttons on the left-hand side. In this case, we choose to generate inflections, which will use the part of speech value to intelligently inflect the selected entries. Notice that changes are displayed in red until they are committed by clicking the Save button. Now that we have saved the fruit dictionary, it's possible to export as either an ICA dictionary or a standalone CSV. In this case, we would like to use the dictionary as a service, and so we must instead download the custom phase plugin for ICA Studio. After unzipping the client, navigate to the UEMA Pipeline Configuration Editor in ICA Studio and add a custom phase. Configure the text analysis engine path to point at nlpdsconsumer.xml. Next, add the corresponding jar file to the class path. The client will come pre-configured against the server you downloaded from, but you may choose to expand the configuration section if you wish to add or remove to the list of dictionaries for matching. Notice the new dictionary match annotation covers both mentions of apple and banana. Now consider that the following recipe is added to the mix during pilot or production, and a business analyst notices that we are missing some annotations. Because we are using the NLP Dictionary Server, the very same analyst can navigate to the Dictionary Server, add the new term to the dictionary, and all the pipelines referencing this service will automatically pick up the update. Going back to the server, suppose we want to prepare our model for other mentions of fruit. Typically, a model developer would scour the web for a comprehensive list of fruits for their dictionary. But on the dictionary server, we've included a very neat little feature that allows you to expand your dictionary 
through a configured ontology. Using DBpedia and Princeton's WordNet, the semantic expansion button presents the user with a list of types they may want to use for expansion. After selecting one or more types, pressing Submit will populate the dictionary with all the values in the ontology that extend from these types. Other useful processing actions include deduplication and conversion to lowercase. Similarly, the autosynonym expansion leverages these same sources to add additional surface forms for the dictionary entries. The user can review the updates and, if they don't seem helpful, can undo the changes with no harm. Finally, clicking on the View History button, users are able to review each change that was made to the dictionary, start a new dictionary from an existing one, or simply revert to a previous version. We're excited about the possibilities of applying thoughtful design with emerging technology in focused areas such as NLP dictionary management, and we'd love to hear from you.